the anthro jumpsuit has arrived. If you missed the story, I saw a lady wearing this jumpsuit in the Greensboro airport whenever I went to North Carolina. And I told Haley, I was like, I love that jumpsuit. And so I sat there and watched her for a minute. And then after like 20 minutes, I got the nerve and she walked by and I was like, ma'am, like screamed it across the sitting area and asked her where she got it. And I bought it right there in the airport. It is so cute. It has such cute detail. I do have, after I shared this in stories, someone said that Amazon does have a lookalike and I did order and I'll try it on for you next. So you have a couple of options um, with price point. However, it does not have the detail that this jumpsuit does have. This one has like the frayed hem. It has the thick tie that you can scrunch up or release the pants. It's got more of a detail on the siding. And then that washed look also is different than the Amazon one. Here is the cream color option for the Amazon lookalike. Now I did order the black one. It's not going to be here until end of July. So obviously a lot of people have ordered it, um, but you do lose a little bit of the detail work. It's a good lookalike. There's just tiny things like the ties are smaller and skinnier. They're not as thick. This isn't as thick of a stripe, but you do get some ribbing, ribbing detail. You can see the pockets through it, which I don't love, um, but it's not, 100% see-through. I am wearing a black sports bra and it's not super obvious. Um, the Anthropology does have a little zipper lengthener on the back, so it makes it easier to get the zipper on you by yourself. But other than that, I mean, it looks a ton like the other one. It doesn't have quite thick as a raw hem, but it still has, still has a little bit of a raw hem. I'm excited to try the black one because I think the black one is going to be a really good lookalike option. And this is a fraction of the cost. This costs less than half of what the Anthropology jumpsuit costs. Okay, one option that I just kind of played with. So the pockets hang like this. You can kind of push the pockets towards the back and you can't see it. So if you were to get it and then you have that clean, there's nothing that looks see-through or you could take the pockets out. But I was trying to decide, do I want to return it and just wait for the black one? It's really super soft and comfortable like to wear around the house. But I think what I'm going to do is just shove the pockets to the side. <laughs> that way I still have the pocket if I need it. But if not, it's just hidden on that side strap, the side ribbing detail. I don't know. Could be an option. Good morning. Good morning at 4.30 p.m. Okay, another story time. It's 10.30 last night. And I was like, I need to work out. But I didn't want to work out. I was really tired. So I didn't want to like do weights. And I thought I was going to do something a little easier. So I was like, you know what? I've heard this deep core, like deep core workouts lately. And I've saved a few on my Instagram. So I opened those up and it's a saved one, 10 exercises. I do them. Holy moly, if you have not heard or tried deep core exercises, by rep seven, it's all body weight. It's really slow movements, but you're holding like bridges and like core positions. Your glutes are activated, your hamstrings are activated, your core is, it's nuts. My body was like shaking at rep seven on most of the exercises. I am sore. <laughs> it's a hard workout and I probably won't do it again at 1030 at night. But if you've heard of deep core, definitely try it. It is a good workout. All right, we're going to try something fun today. Or at least I think I, I think it's fun. Haley and I have been working on this a good majority of the day. So I really, I really hope this freaking works. Okay, so I have been trying to think of easier. I'm always trying to make things easier for you as far as how to find resources. And I can't see a lot of DMs because they come in really fast and they get buried. Um, I just can't see them all. And so I was thinking of things that I commonly get asked for in DMs. And one of them is are what are the paint colors that I've used on no demo reno episodes, like those homes in those in that show. Um, and so I have it set up to where if you comment on any of my stories, these are stories, this one or any of them in the future, any day of the week you want, doesn't even have to be with the story. If you leave that little bar that says send a message, if you type paint, you will automatically get the link to that blog post with all those paint colors. And it's not cap sensitive, it's cap sensitive. So you can just type paint. So if you wanna try it, you'll automatically get that blog post. Again, I want to stress that this is forever for any story. You just have to do it in stories. It's not going to be like a comment on a reel or a feed post. It has to be here in stories. Um, 
also what I've set up because a lot of people ask for the resource guide. So like everything that's linked on those homes, tile, countertops, faucets, lighting, paint colors, also furniture, home decor, all those things, we call them resource guides. If you type in paint, you'll get the paint link. A few hours later, I think it's set up for six hours, you'll get another message that says, I forget what I wrote, but I was like, hey there, thought you might be interested in here's the link for the resource guides. So you have that in your DMs forever too. And if you don't want it, don't click on it, but at least you have it. And if you're interested in the paint, you might be interested in the rest of the furnishings and it's never gonna disappear on you. So you just go to your DMs, top right corner, the little message and click on my face. <laughs> that resource guide will not be automatic. I have it set up to go a few hours after, um, but you'll get both of those things and it's saved in your DM forever. So it will never disappear on you. You go to the messages and you click on our conversation because it's from me, you'll see my face and then you can access it anytime you want. I hope that is so helpful because I feel like that is something that I get asked about all the time and I just can't respond to every DM. So this is gonna help me get you things that you want. And I know these are a little more time pressing because you guys are doing your own home, home renovations or doing stuff to your home. Like you wanna know the answer. Um, and maybe you don't want the paint right now, but you might in the future. Just, you gotta either do it now so it's saved or just remember, paint. And he's got a comment and a story. There's another one. You knew it was coming. How do I get to your Amazon storefront? Again, it is linked in my bio, but if you want it one step easier, type into any story ever in the future, Amazon, boom. My Amazon storefront will be right in your DMs and that's how you can access it moving forward. You go to the message, tap on my face, and that link will be there forever. Forever. It's like a Sandlot moment. So anyway, just nothing else, it's all gonna be in my bio still, nothing's changing, but it's just another way for if it's easier for you and you like that way better and you want that link permanently pinned like in the message between you and I, I get it, it is easier. It's one step on the messages and it's right there um, and it won't delete on you. So if there's anything else y'all can think of that is like a common thing that I'm forever changing that will be helpful, I'll put a box on the next slide and you can put that in the box and we can try that out. I will not be using this for every link ever from here on out. Still gonna do it the good old fashioned, tap the link way. Um, but for things that are commonly asked for in a um, heavily requested thing in DMs that I cannot get to myself, um, this will help get you guys the information that you're wanting and not getting frustrated because I never responded back. I do get, I don't get many messages as often because I, about me not responding. I feel like m most people get it. It's, there's a lot of people here and I get a lot of DMs and I wish that I could respond to more DMs, but I'm not hiring someone to act like me. It's only me if I'm messaging you. Um, and that's an important thing to me. Um, also, you know, I'm doing this during the day and I have three kids and you know, businesses and stuff. And so I just don't, um, I don't have a ton of time to do that, but no, when I do message you, it's me and only me.